Hello, I'm Jill. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching me. So today is going to be something slightly different, okay? Because today I'm going to explain to you um, the magic of makeup and um, slightly different is because this is going to be like body makeup. I quite like, in fact I very much like, cosplay and as most of you know, there's a lot of trickery involved in some sort of camera work, photography work, etc, etc. Um, I don't always, for my work, use um, body makeup. However, I do have certain things that I love shooting, which never get published um, because I don't want them to, but, and that's more of a private like, so, I tend to be uh, really heavily into the into the dynamics of using the makeup to enhance everything um, and hopefully you'll see this today and you may get a few ideas yourself. I am naturally sort of like um, always going to be busty, yeah, um, so naturally I don't need the big bra push-ups but I've got to be honest. It doesn't matter how big or small you are, an underwired cleavage bra is always going to enhance, for cosplay especially, the line of your bust. The line isn't always just the line down here, it's that, it's that sweetheart neck almost. I think that's what it's called. That's what I've always called it, a sweetheart neck, when you get that lovely V, deep V. So I'm going to show you how to enhance that deep V with just purely makeup. I've got loads of makeup here with me today, but before I do that, obviously I'm going to take my dress off because that's just not going to work, is it? Because I couldn't get there and show you what I'm doing. So I'm going to put on today just purely to show the makeup off at the best advantage is, as I said, underwired bra deep plunge, I find deep plunge already pulls you in. I know lots of girls, they'll wear one, two, three bras just for cosplay. And this isn't so that they're uh, doing anything wacky or weird. It's purely so they get that push in and then a lift up. And, and with the makeup, that is gonna all enhance everything you've got, okay? So it doesn't matter whether your boobs sit pretty, or they sit slightly lower, or heck, you know, they can droop to the floor, what the hell. Decent bra on girls, get them babies where you want them. Okay, hi, so I've got my uh, outfit that I'm gonna wear for you today, and the outfit is doesn't matter, it can be anything. I just didn't wanna sit here in a bra. Um, However, as I said, a nice deep plunge bra. Something that, you know what, I've got these strapped up as far as I feel comfortable having them strapped up. Um, but the more you strap them up, the higher, the more extreme that cleavage is gonna be. And for cosplay, like I said, you really need to be extreme. So really tighten those straps up, girls. And uh, also, one tip I have got, and this doesn't have to be expensive for any of you. Uh, always, always, always underwired good support, definite. But with a lot of cosplay, the outfits can be so revealing that really a bra like this isn't gonna help you. And yeah, you can fold it over and pull your boobs around in it, but that's not quite the same. So what I use are these wonder bras, I call them. Um, that is just my word for it, a wonder bra, because I think it's wonderful. But anyway, all it is is a deep plunge bra, but if you look really closely, the cup is like a quarter cup. So I don't really think that. This wasn't a good example to get a black one. I've got white and all sorts, but hey ho, I went and got a black one. So this comes just the same as this other bra, up underneath your boob with the wire, 
you've got all the support in the straps. You can see here, I've got my straps up done really tight on this one. Because it's not a full cup bra, I can afford to have those these tighter. Um, and then, obviously, you can see from the material, that doesn't cover your nipples. I would have worn this, but obviously I can't. Um, if I had an outfit over the top of this that was really extremely rounded here for the cosplay, then I would have worn this bra underneath it to still give me that uplift support, but cut away to give me that braless look. And that's what you get. I call them sawn offs, okay? This one I bought um, phew, probably about 10 years ago, if I'm honest with you. And I'm, I'm, don't get me wrong, I've got ones that I bought last year equally as good, but we all love our favourites. So this one I bought years and years ago, but occasionally, if I don't even want this part in, I'll just take a normal bra and cut it where I want it. And I'm going to now turn the volume off on my phone in a second. So I'll take a normal bra, cut it where I want it, just sew it up so it looks pretty again. And that's just as good. You don't have to spend a fortune. I think this was something like about £28. Um, or the ones today are £28. I don't know what this cost me back then. But once you've got it, trust me, you can have any t-shirt on. You can go anywhere on the beach, shopping, out for the night out, in the office, anywhere. And it gives you everything, but you still look like you are braless. And people look at you in awe thinking, wow, look at her boobs. Look how firm they are. Yay, secrets. <laughs> but uh, anyway, for a second here, I'm going to just cut off, turn the volume off my phone, which I should have done before. And then I'm going to get on with showing you all of this. Okay, that's done. No more disturbances. So today is all about makeup and the magic of shadows, lighting, etc. Now I've got quite a few things out here. I've got uh, a range from expensive to just supermarket stuff that you can buy off the shelf for a pound or whatever. You can have super ooper duper, lovely brushes, nice and expensive ones, or you can have run-of-the-mill supermarket brushes, um, just any sort that you want. Personally, I brought these just to show you, so you can use these. You, I would personally use that one if I was to do it with this brush, but these aren't particularly the brushes I would use for this. Let's put those away. A lot of people tend to use creams to do this. Now, when I go out to parties, if they're cosplay, cosplay parties, then I wouldn't use a cream because you get hot, there's lots of music, there's lots of dancing, you're bound to sweat, your cleavage is tucked in tight anyway, and you don't want it spreading, rubbing, whatever. So I wouldn't use these, but you can. I mean, I've got Clinique and my favourite, which is MAC Cosmetics. Um, there's all different shades. What I will tell you, you will need is slightly darker than your own skin tone, okay? And you want this because you want to give the illusion of shadow. The illusion there then makes it look to others like you've got cosplay tits, basically. There you go. That's what we're looking for in this update. So. I'm not going to use these today, but you know, you can, if it's for a photo shoot, yes, I probably would. Um, but this is more, me is more party type and just purely fun. So I'm going to just pop these away to give me a little bit more room. Now, something else I'm going to put away in a minute, because again, I'm not going to use these today, but you can use a light concealer pencil. This is just a very cheap kiss ass concealer pencil. Haven't got a clue where I bought that from. It was probably last minute when I was out and about on a location shoot. 
but that's lovely and white you can probably see if you see me looking at this uh oh, the side of you it's purely because i've got the monitor i can't have a mirror today because obviously you wouldn't see what i'm doing and again so that's kick ass uh, one this is elastic protection uva and what have you uh so that's just more of a rub on let me do that over my tattoo so you can see how that colors over People use this sort of stuff in photography for all sorts of covering. If you want to cover up tattoos, pimples, whatever you want to do, scars. <clears throat> but like I say, I, I tend not to bother with that. You just get what you see. So anyway, here we have now three brushes. I'm only going to use two. I've got all sorts of different colours here, okay? This tends to be more of a bronzer, which has got several different colors in the bronzer. Okay, so you can see that. It's extremely hard to get one color out of that, but to be honest, all mixed together comes up lovely. Certain bronzers you'll find tend to be a bit um, sparkly, so they leave a, a sparkly sheen across your skin. That's not what we want because that looks like makeup and we don't want that, girls. Okay, so we want the natural shadow, not sparkly. Lovely if you're on holiday, but not necessarily for this. You're going to need a dark one and a light one. Okay, this is just basic Rimmel London. Um, and again, for me, that's just a little bit too... That's too much of an in-between colour for me. Okay, and again, it's too golden, so it's going to give that shimmer effect to my skin, which I don't want. So I'll put that away, but I'm just basically trying to tell you that it doesn't matter whether, like, this one would cost you maybe, I don't know, £40 in the shop, which is Clinique, or Stain Matte, which is Rimmel, it cost you about a pound max in the shops, in the supermarket. So it doesn't make any difference. It's going to look as good at a pound to what it would look at £40, is what I'm trying to get at. This is more my skin tone. This, I would say, is like a very milk bottle white. A lot of people are very pale skinned, so it's important to use that if that is what your natural skin tone is. So bear that in mind. Don't go for something darker thinking it's going to look as good or better. So now I'm down to my favourite two. So one is Wet n Wild, which I believe I got in boots. And if I did get it in boots, it wouldn't have cost me much more than seven, eight pound. And it would probably last a lifetime. Uh, the Clinique one, as I said, is more expensive. So, what we're going to do here is, you can see, hopefully, you can see the curve here. So, we come down in the V where the cleavage is, and you get a curve. And it's a natural curve of your own bust, okay? And we all have it. It doesn't matter what size we are, we all have it. Tighten the bras up if you can't see it enough just while you're doing the makeup. You can always loosen them again afterwards. Okay, so hopefully with the lighting I've got behind, that's gonna really sharpen up my lines so that you can see the, the natural curve. So first of all, we are gonna go for the darker color. So I have a tendency to get a favorite brush and keep it. The only problem there is before you use it, if you haven't washed it, just give it a flick like this. Make sure you've got all of the previous um, blusher or whatever you've used it for off because the last thing you want to do is paint your cleavage red. That wouldn't be a good look. Oh, it might be. Depends what sort of uh, season we're in. Anyway, so to start with, this is a three color one. 
you can use that as a highlighter, just a medium tone and then a dark tone, okay? I'm gonna mix the three together because that'll give me my perfect coloring for the actual overtone of my chest. Okay, here we go. So like I said, I'm gonna be looking in the monitor to make sure I'm doing this accurately. Blow any excess off, because you don't need loads. Pull your chest apart so you've got that natural bit in the middle. I'm not saying go right down and dig deep, but you want to start where that is. So you want to do a little bit there, okay? Just darken that up slightly. It doesn't matter if you just mess up a little bit. You can either take it off or you can self-correct later. And here, we're going to go the natural shape of my chest, which is there, okay? Here we go. Here goes, I hope I don't mess this up now. So, let me put a bit of the really dark on to show you. You can already see that's darker than this side. I will come in closer to the camera in a second. So I'm going to keep looking down because I do want to get this right for you. There, I can see it in the monitor already. This is far more enhanced than this one. Therefore, when I say enhanced, this one looks like it's higher than that one. Okay? That's what we're going for, girls. Now with cosplay, you just do this and do this to an extreme until you get that perfect look that you're looking for. Might not be what I'm looking for, but you know, just keep on. If I stop and say, well, this is perfect. Well, it is perfect for what I want, but that doesn't mean it's perfect for what you want. Okay, so I understand fully on that one. So again, now with that side, that's almost done. I will touch in a bit more. So now I'm going to get this side, I'll look down again, make sure I get them even. I think that's even. I think that also made a world record for the first time I've stopped speaking for quite as long. So let's just do a bit more. So you should be able to just do sweeps. You know when you do your, your uh, toner here and we automatically go round in the figure three? Okay, it just becomes a natural thing. So you would go like that, whoa, whoa. And it just becomes more natural the more you do it. Can you see now how I've not altered my bra straps, I've not turned the camera off, I've just used that, okay, which is Clinique. So that's all I've used at the moment. Now, you can already see how that has altered the whole look. When I lean back, they look mahusive. <laughs> well, okay, they're big anyway, but they look even bigger, is what I'm saying, more emphasis on them. So in pictures, it doesn't matter where I am, that shadow is always gonna be there. Whereas without it, if I move to the side, you might see we're not all perfect, so, most of us have one slightly bigger than the other, one lower than the other, whatever. And it does show in normal lighting, but with the makeup on to make that natural shadow, then it's a win-win. So anyway, I'm happy with that look. But what I would say is my boobs are always very, very white compared to the other, other bits of my skin, as you can see. And I don't mind that, I like that, because for the cosplay, that really actually works. So what I'll do there is use much, much lighter. As you can see, let me hold them both up. See the color difference? So you're gonna get much, much more of a difference now. When I put this on, you're gonna see a bigger difference. Now with this, you can use like, you guys would probably call it a shaving brush, it's not. This is a makeup brush, so it's a lot softer. You can use that, but for some reason I don't get on with these brushes as well. So I'm gonna put that to one side. Now I'm gonna use this. Again, before I completely mess up, I'm just gonna check. This is actually just freshly washed, so. 
that's always a good thing to do. Wash your brushes after you've used them. So anyway, here we are. It's a bit messy on your tables. You waste a lot. I really sort of like pound this brush into, into this. So it's like a bit of concealer makeup, I'd call it. If you've got a shine, for instance, I, when I'm shooting, I don't like shine as much on my face. Um, loads of people I know love shine. Uh, for me, I just not my cup of tea. So I tend to do my makeup and then I'll put this on my face. A bit like the baking powder routine. You girls will know what I mean. So it just takes away that shine. So now what I'm going to do is just slightly lower that bra. Not revealing anything. But I'm going to brush over my skin. So you're going to need lots of it because we all have veins or else we wouldn't be alive. So that is just going to cover up any imperfections in your skin. You can see I'm going over my black bra, but you know, I'm not gonna be wearing this out later, so I'm not bothered. <clears throat> and you can go over that as often as you like. Don't, however, go over the bit you've already done in the brown. You can touch bits up. If you see a bit that you've come down, maybe, so one's not quite the same as the other, you can level them out. And I would say don't go too much into the middle, because you want the darkness to start your V. Okay, so try to leave this part. Just get the skin there. Just pull your brow about. Get right in there with the brush. Can you see how that's already altered? And I mean, I look just looking down, I can see now that any little blotches that I might have on my skin are sort of like basically covered and blurred. So I love that. <coughs> and I'd argue that many women don't like that. So now I'm going to do the other one. I'm just going to pull this a little bit down, pull my boob out a bit. Gives me a double bubble, but what the hell. <clears throat> so now I'm doing exactly the same again. Again, be really generous with this, you know, because all those veins will get covered. That's, that doesn't sound very nice, but you know, like I said, what the heck, we've all got them. All got veins. Ooh. So, tell me when to stop because I'll just carry on forever. I love this look, love it. In a second, I'm just going to run over with the other brush some dark. You can add other colours into this. I mean, these are just my preferences, so yeah, you might say, Ooh, I don't really like that very much. I'd have had it whiter. And then, like I've shown you, I've got a whiter one, but it's just not my thing at the moment. So what else have I got? I'm going to just try a little bit of this. Um, I'll use a bigger brush because I really don't... This is purely, I use this brush only for a clinic. So I'm not going to mix the two. Or else I'll forget and put it on my face and I'll go out and nobody, everybody will be just too polite to tell me. So I'm going to use this one, which is a brush I don't often use. And this is going to be a bit harder, so I'm going to start higher up and go around. So here we go. Fingers crossed. So <laughs> I have a feeling I'm just going to mess the whole thing up. This brush is so big. I guess if you don't like a brush quite as big and that's all you've got to play with, is just pinch the top of it to how you'd like it. So I'm going to do that. So here we go again. I'm going to just pull my boob apart a bit and go around. That's a bit too much on there. Round. So in the middle and round the top. Ooh, that's looking pretty. <laughs> so I better do the other other side, even it all up. Pull aside and round. Side and round. There. So I'm just gonna come closer. Can you see? Can you see that natural jump? I love it. Love, 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 love. Now, what you can do 
is, I'm not going to do it with that brush, I'll start with this other brush again, is if you want to lower the white, you can bring that down. I'm going to show you this now just on one side so that you can see the difference. Okay. This is not a very flattering view for me, but uh, there. Okay, so slightly different. Can you see that comes lower down here to higher up there? But again, like I've said, it just emphasizes it. It doesn't matter where you turn. Can you see the shape there? That's all makeup, girls. Okay, we can all do it, we can all have perfection, and we can have it whenever we want it. <clears throat> so, I'll just put a bit more. Oh dear, I can't open my thing now. There we go. So, because I noticed I've got a bit too far across. There. So girls, play with those boobies. Go to the cosplay parties, look it up, learn about it, do weird and wacky things. You know, we can all do it. We can all enhance ourselves. You know what, this would work for guys with a six pack. It's just a creation of shadows and lighting and it all just adds a different element to you. So here we are again, close up, there, I've got a very high cleavage, whereas before it was slightly lower down, so you just get what you want, do it whatever way you want it, and like I said, doesn't matter which way you're posing, it's that V, look at that V, it's almost like comic, it's, it's great. And that's what it's all about. It's all about what you want to be, what you want to look like that particular moment in time. Do it, be brave. Don't spend a fortune if you don't want to. And if you've got the money, spend a fortune. Do what you want. You know, it's all good fun. I hope you've enjoyed this. It's been something completely different and a sneak into my private personal life, okay? With just one of the things I love doing. Um, if you don't want to wear a bra afterwards, this is what I meant to tell you, is you can take your bra off, you're still gonna have that beautiful line, okay? If, what I would suggest is if you do take your bra off because you haven't quite got quite the uplift, then I would suggest you do a bit more in the middle just to give you that deep plunge look. But you don't have to wear a bra after that. You can do whatever you want. You're still gonna have that lovely shadow and the effect of that sort of like cosplay cleavage. Go for it, enjoy it, hope you have fun. I hope you've loved this video and if you have, like it. But I would love, 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 love you to subscribe, okay? If you do, click the notification bell and you'll see every future update as well. And go to my channel and see all the previous ones. Lovely having you here today. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.